Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933 here, and in today's three minute tutorial, we're going to take a look at the IP domain lookup command, which is actually enabled by default on a Cisco router, even though you won't see it in the config, and also why you might want to turn this off, especially in a home lab environment. Uh, you might not want to use this in a production network, as you may need this DNS lookup, but in a home lab, it will definitely save you some aggravation. It's also a really good command to know for your exams. So let's take a look at the Cisco router. I've left all the defaults here and what I'm going to do is just type in some nonsense or type in something I usually say when I forget to turn this particular feature off and what you can end up doing we all fall prey to it sooner or later it's what I call elevator button syndrome you keep hitting the enter key thinking that's going to speed the process up uh, and it doesn't it's just going to result in more of these broadcasts the router is always going to try to translate this locally first via an IP host table. And if you're not familiar with those, I've got a three minute tutorial on those coming up soon. And also I do have a video on that on YouTube now as well. So we're going to see that. What we might not want to see are these domain server lookups because the broadcast here, it's not a big deal as far as traffic goes, but it does take a little bit of time. And again, if you keep hitting the enter key, you'd have more and more of those lookups. So here for our example, it didn't take that long to time out, but it's still aggravating. And the larger your network or in other situations, you may find it takes up to five minutes for those broadcasts to finally stop being sent and you are back at your console. So what you can do to negate that behavior is enter the IP no IP domain lookup command. And now when I use my up arrow to repeat my little garbage there, we'll still see it try to be translated locally and it couldn't do it, but then you'll notice there is no domain server lookup. We didn't send it out saying, hey, is there a DNS server out there to help us out? So again, not always something you want to put on a production router because you might want those lookups, you might have something set up that way, but for your home lab and your Cisco exams, you definitely need to know what that default behavior is. We saw that in action, and also how to turn it off with no IP domain lookup. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video. Plenty of other three-minute tutorials on our YouTube channel. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE 12933.